Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia Wall Videos. We are learning PowerPoint advanced tips and tricks and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for this session is creating the icons. This is the second part of the video and we have uh, learned in the previous video that how do we create the icons like this. Now in the second part, I'll guide you that how do we create the icons with the help of the smart art. Previously, we have learned that how do we create the smart art icons. Um, we have learned that how do we create the unique icons with the help of the shapes. Shapes like you can click here in the insert and by using, by clicking or by inserting different shapes, you can come up with the all together the new icons. All right. So um, I'll guide you in this video that with the help of the smart art also we can create the unique icons. Now these are certain uh, smart art graphics that I have inserted in my slide. I'll show you first of all that uh, we have certain options for inserting those. Let's say if I'm talking about this, the circular arrow process. I'll click here and this is the smart art that is present in my uh, slide. I'll reduce the size now. If I want to write something here, then I can definitely write say P1, then P2 and P3. Okay. I want to further reduce the size and I want to make this very small. So now uh, if I want I can insert this icon in between some image. Say um, I'll select a shape here again uh, I want to select this rounded rectangle. I want to change the color the shape will I'll go with this dark gray color this dark shape outline dark gray again and now this is one more rectangle I have and let's say if I want to copy this the entire image you right click and paste this as a picture I want to further reduce the size of this picture now and then I will insert it here so this is one of the option the other thing what I can do is let me group these object I'll group this um, click on the format and then group both the objects that has become the outline or the frame of your icon you can say now I can create the multiple frames now this is also one of the icon that I have inserted with the help of the smart art I'll select the entire figure I'll copy and then I'll paste it as a picture that as a picture now I'll reduce the size I can reduce it to any extent now and now I want to place it here before changing it to the picture icon if you want to change the color of this uh, this icon or this uh, object you can definitely do that we have multiple options here this is the dull look or even if you want to change the color say this type of icon also you can create recolor the picture in the smart art and like give different colors to all these three elements also so again i'll select the entire figure here copy and after that i want to paste it as a picture reduce the size and place it here then if we are talking about this again we'll copy this these all icons are inserted with the help of the smart art I'm pasting them I'm creating the pictures and after that I can definitely place it in between the frame that we have created if you want you can create the circular frames also or the triangular frames too like insert then shape and uh, this time let's say if I want to create this circular shape I have a circle here I want to change the color of this circle um, let's say blue 
this blow this time okay then shape outline I'll go with the same I'll copy and paste I'll reduce the size of the circle if I want I can copy this image I can create a triangular shape also the frame of a triangular shape this is the shape I have then I'll copy and then I paste it here let's make the inner triangle smaller a bit smaller here the inner one I'll make the shade lighter or if I want I can go for this option also the outer triangle I can select the black as well shape outline that has to be black for both of them okay this is the pyramid that I have inserted with the smart art graphic I'll copy this and then I'll paste this as so in in this way with a lot of options with the help of the smart art also you can select some smart art graphic you can reduce the size and you can then use it as a picture to insert inside your icon frame that you have created so these are some of the examples you can um, like create more innovative icons um, as per the as per the topic of your presentation and um, and you can represent definitely represent that in a very good way so that was it for the session we have learned here that with the help of the smart art graphics how do we create our own unique icons for the presentations i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching edupedia world videos